Hello, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you've tuned in today and we have an honest trailer about Moana and I am so intrigued as to where they're gonna go with this one. So without further ado, let's just go straight into this reaction in three, two, one, let's go. Whoa, those are a lot of requests. <laughs> are you ready for a new kind of Disney movie? Full of strong female characters, no forced romantic subplots, and a celebration of Polynesian culture? Then you'll love Lilo and Stitch. Did not see that coming. Oh, and probably also Moana. <laughs> Meet Moana, a strong, determined young woman who won't stop until she gets the job done. I yeah. am Moana. You will board my boat, sail across the sea and restore the heart of Te Piti. Who, after 90 minutes of adventure, becomes a strong, determined young woman who won't stop until she gets the job done. I am Moana. You will board my boat, sail across the sea, and restore the heart of Te Piti. She's indestructible. <coughs> she's fearless. And she's got water powers just as confusing and vague as Elsa's ice magic in Frozen. So wait, does she even have any water powers at all? Or does it only protect whoever has the glowy thing? Mm -hmm. And if the ocean has her back, why does it keep trying to drown her? Ah! Help me! Follow along on Moana's quest to save her Good homeland question. by following a super obvious sign. Maui lies there. In a journey that pokes fun at all of Disney's usual tropes. If you wear a dress what? and you have an animal sidekick, you're a princess. If you start singing, I'm gonna throw up. While at the same time being 100% guilty of them. From her cute animal sidekicks, <laughs> to her grand Mufasa, to her genie, Maui. An all-powerful, charismatic, brawling, tattooed demigod. So pretty much The Rock. Enjoy the highest honor a culture can receive these days, having your traditions commodified by the Disney Corporation. Ooh. And watch as the Polynesian <laughs> people who traveled between islands thousands of miles apart <laughs> thousands of years ago are represented by paranoid coconut lovers who would rather starve to death than sail past a three-foot break. We were voyagers. We can voyage again. How late for effort, I guess. So enjoy a film with a soundtrack people can't stop gushing about because the guy from Hamilton is involved and not even the ocean gushes as hard as Hamilton fans featuring songs like the They're Really Into Coconut song. You can't escape, we're gonna keep you around and force you to stay exactly where you are. But, but hey, we, we got, got coconut. coconut. Hell yeah! Coconut sweet. We're all obsessed with the coconut, it's so healthy. You may be the coconut <laughs> when you turn 13. We worship that song and smoothie. You all are freaks. Oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> we're making the rock sing song? Oh, come on. You can on. smell what I'm cooking. I'll save your franchise, make money, no problem. You all recognize my voice, my fun. Oh, my. <laughs> but in one respect, I'm kind of flawed. <laughs> I can do anything except sing. Auto tune oh my gosh. get me on track. I'll be president someday, still I can't sing. But who else pulls off a fanny pack? The Let It Go is song. After Frozen did well for Disney, they told me to sing a clown. These songs are total Let it pure words. <laughs> Let it go. If a song about girls being free makes more money, then you should. The beautiful song in a foreign language that could be saying anything song. Hello, hello. Hey, 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 no, 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 Starring Oh my gosh, this Nilo, was so hilarious. Chuck and the Chicken, David Glowy, Shy Guys, and wow, Troy Polamalu really let himself go. Oh my. Pacific Swim.
Okay, so wait a second. Rapunzel has demon hair, Elsa has ice powers, and Moana is a waterbender? Are we building up to Disney's Princess Avengers? Oh, please don't give them ideas. Hey, screen junkies, who doesn't need more of The Rock in their life? Click the box on the left to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson play all of your favorite Disney characters as only he can. <laughs> and if you want to learn more about Moana, click the box oh. on the right to watch our interview with Jerry. All right, there we have it. <laughs> Way to go poking fun at Moana like that. These guys have gone to town on this movie. And you know what? It's true. These songs that they come up with for these um, animated films, they just have a way of becoming an earworm. They will stick in your head whether you um, like them or not. <laughs> what do they do when they're composing these songs? All the way from the first Disney films that I can remember, um, from the Lion King songs, Hakuna Matata, on and on to Let It Go. Oh my gosh, Let It Go. <sighs> You know, just there comes a point where <laughs> you just gotta turn the song off. But oh my gosh, this was so funny. And them making fun of The Rock, I actually enjoyed him singing. Was that just me? I mean, I think he can carry a tune pretty well. I enjoyed it, but <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. Anyways, they had fun on this one. This was raw. This was just honest, and I loved it. It was just absolutely funny. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What did you think about this honest trailers? And if you like my reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're new here. I would love you to be a part of this channel. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. God bless. <laughs>